Our young global leaders are selected by the top editors-in-chief around the world. Around 150 are chosen each year, around of, of whom about 125 become active and they go to Davos and they go to regional meetings. I benefit from global, young global leader early days. When I listen to Bill Gates and Bill Clinton and George Soros, these guys, at that time we don't have that many people. A lot of the folks here knew each other already and my hope was to meet them for the first time and um, it's going pretty well. We can easily address taboos, we can tell politicians how things really are, um, which obviously once we're 10 years further and we're all running countries or huge companies or whatever, it might sl become slightly more difficult. There was an initiative launched called the Public Leadership Initiative by YGLs and the aim was to try to capture um, the interest of young global leaders, no matter which sector that they are from, to potentially serve their countries. We've already had a, a number of people that have gone through that program who have then decided to run for office. My commitment will be to add value. We'll be part of the Young Leaders yes, Initiative. This is Merkel, Tony Blair, um, say we're all, even uh, President Putin, say we're all young global leaders before. Prime Minister of Ireland, uh, Leo Varadkar, uh, a particular welcome because you are also one of our young global leaders. Sheikh Hamdan is, despite his young age, chairman of the Executive Council of Dubai, the highest government authority in the Emirate. Very proud to say that His Highness is also a young global leader of the World Economic Forum. The leader of the UK right now. David Cameron was named a young global leader in 2006. Bakatsi, the Prime Minister of Georgia and a young global leader. Haken of Norway. Haken is the Crown Prince of Norway. Uh, he's also a member of our Young Global Leaders alumni community. President Calderon, you had been uh, selected in 1997 as a global leader for tomorrow. You have already in 1993 been here for the first time as a global leader for tomorrow. And Klaus uh, Schwab, I really have to congratulate you for your farsightedness. You picked out again the right individual. Monsieur De Croo, uh, you have been a young global leader of the Forum Economic Mondial. You have recently done a video conference with Klaus Schwab. I'd like to explore um, a little bit what it's like to be a new young global leader. The, the, the young anymore. Gavin Newsom, uh, the uh, young, energetic, innovative mayor of San Francisco. He is also among those who the uh, young global leaders here at Davos this year. Bozidar Jelic, the Deputy Prime Minister for European Integration and Minister of Science and Technology Development of Serbia and a young global leader. She was named a young global leader by the World Economic Forum. Minister Jolie. Minister Mohamed Lutfi, the Minister of Trade of Indonesia and a young global leader. Juan Carlos Pinzon Bueno, Minister of the National Defense of Colombia, young global leader. Christia Freeland, she's the Minister of International Trade of Canada and used to be a young global leader of the World Economic Forum, if I may uh, mention I'm that. I'm afraid it's true. What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, president of, Brez of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world. Economy right. Forum. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president, with a young global leader. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum and he bragged how his subversive WWEF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. Could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know he was. I know the uh, the member was in a, a really good good question there, but the 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 audio is really really bad and the video is really really bad as well. That member was promoting open disinformation. That's not debate.